Morning YouTube. Um, Sunday the, what is it, 28th uh, possibly? No, 27th of Feb. Um, and I am at Hampton, Hampton Pier there. I'm gonna give that a few, couple of hours. And I'm in the Hampton Car Park, look, Hampton Car Park, free parking. And then there's the Hampton, the Hampton Inn there. So I'm just gonna head out onto the pier. I'm lucky to get a parking spot in the car park. Let's get down on the pier and get set up. It's a bit chilly, but it's better than it has been. Right, here I am at the end of the, I call it Hampton Pier, but it's not, it's just a jetty, that's what it is, it's only, it's like, years. but um, on the western side here, we've got Tankerton, and that leads round to uh, Whitstable in the distance, and the shoreline there is quite quite a way in. So, although this is shallow, um, we're quite away from the actual shoreline on this side. But then, if we flip to this side here, where Herne Bay is, Herne Bay is just in the above my head there. Um, you can see the shoreline is just there. So the shoreline really staggers at this point. So that's the Herne Bay shoreline running along there. And then we go this side, and look at that, the shoreline's right in there, Tankerton leading to Whitstable. So, and at this point, straight out here because there is a line of rocks that go out here like a break um, so and it goes right out you can see where the clear water runs where the flat water runs out to that point there so there's a large line of boulders out there which you don't want to be fishing on top of this is sort of I think this is mixed ground boulders and things. so let's get set up and uh, as I fall over let's hopefully catch a fish Right, first things first, I'm going to get my bod rests onto these uh, bars. This one's the breakaway rail rod rest. So, as you can see, it's got a slight angle backwards. Let me just uh, get this out. You've got an angle backwards on that rod rest, so that wants to be facing towards you, and your rod can sit in there and you've got two rubber straps that clip in tight around the rod rest holds it in place and then the other ones I've got the the leader flexible mounts so I'm basically gonna hopefully if they reach which they should do just about like so There we are, so I've got the mount there and there, so they will both hold this in place when I get my two rods out, so let's get the rods set up. So before I go any further I need to put a link clip for my lead, the end of the line on this, so I am just using, that's what I use, a link clip basically, I don't do anything fancy, that's what I clip to my rigs and I'm just going to put that on the uni knot and that's the Gemini Extra Strong, Extra Strong link clips. Very simple, but very effective. All right, let's cut that off. Right, I'm going to chuck my wind mic on because it's a bit blowy and it's cold, the wind's cold. Hopefully that sun will come out soon and this mist, this fog will start to clear 
Um, it looks like it's breaking through. There we are, a bit of blue sky. Hopefully we'll warm up. Right, here we go. We've got the two rods set up. The, the usual two culprits are here. We've got the Sonic Gravity HT, with the Shimano reel. Now, I know, I know, my line is low. It is low, my braid is low. I need to order some new, new braid and I need to re-spool that up. Um, I'm gonna do that and I'll do a video of spooling this reel. Um, but at the moment, um, I've got a lot of things going on and haven't had time to do it. So there we are, Shimano, about 18 pound, or I think it's nine kilo braid. And then we've got the uh, Skyline, Synetic Skyline 32 kilo leader, mono leader. And that's coming down here to a three hook flapper. Onto a 150 rip head. And that is gonna go out there. Can you see there? I'm sure, yeah, I think it is showing up got this dirty water line hopefully it's gonna stay there for a bit and I'm gonna try and plonk this out there just on the edge of it see what's about there and then the second setup as it has been used uh, recently is the Vega Potenza again Shimano reel but that's a 5500 Altegra and that's on seven kilo braid with a 32 kilo Synetic Skyline leader and that's coming down to a one up, one down rig uh, with small hooks. I think they're size twos, I think. And I've got 150 pyramid lid on that. So the pyramid lid should give me a little bit of grip, but what I wanna do is just go sort of 11 o'clock with this and hope that the if there's any current pull into the bay, that it pulls the pyramid lid into a, into a dip, into a deeper bit of water, and it would sit there nicely. So, plans to find a little bit of deep, a deep gully out there, and hopefully fish on the edge of the dirty water there. And I am gonna fish worms on both. I don't think there's anything big here. I'm not expecting anything big. I'm not expecting a fish at the moment, but um, gotta be in it to win it. So let's bait up and get these out. Right, so here we have some uh, frozen yellows, yellow tail lug, and I'm just gonna put one on each hook on both rigs. But I think on the three hook flapper, I am going to tip it off with some squid. Now, I've had a few people on the videos, on previous videos and on my last video, ask what this is. And it's basically just, it's a baiting needle, worm baiting needle. And I will do, I think I'll do a little video of the different baiting tools you can get. But basically all this is, is a hollow, there you can see the hole, stainless steel tube with a point on that end. You can thread the worms onto, but not just worms, you can thread sand eel, you can thread long, long strips of fish, mackerel, bluey. Um, these work well with smaller baits. And then you put the point of the hook into the hole like so and then keep the tension on the line and you can feed the worm right the way around just like that it makes it easier and then we get that out I'll show you again basically we put the point of the hook to the hole at the top keep the tension on the line the worm will just feed round straight off the baiting needle onto the hook. Now it doesn't stop your hands getting dirty, only gloves will do that, but it does make life a lot easier. Also I know a lot of people pointed out that the fish in my last video was a flounder and not a dab. I can see that now. It was just one of those moments where you're, you're fishing at range. You're expecting a dab if you get anything. You see a flat fish and you call it as a dab. But uh, I can see now that it was a flounder. Um, just having a um, senior moment. Um, 
They happen, it happens to all of us, it happens to the best of us. Alright, let's get these worms on. It's starting to defrost nicely now. Get these on the free hook flapper. Also, was mentioned that um, why don't I uh, bait up rigs ready for the for recasting? And I'd love to. <laughs> I would like to do that, but with the filming, um, doing little bits here and there in between, it just gets a very hectic. I don't really have to get that much chance to do it, so. And I'm only here leisure fishing. I'm not racing to catch a bag full of fish. Right, there we go. I'm just going to put some squid on that. Let's tip these off with a bit of squid. The sun is coming out. It's starting to get nice and warm. Let's hope the fish come on and it'll make today enjoyable right we are ready to rock and roll one up one down clipped up with straight worm bait on it and put the back there and it up with lug tip with squid so let's get these in to where I want them can do it it's always best to put a guide behind the rod rest or behind the railing um, just in case you, you never know when something big like a bass three pound four pound bass takes your takes your uh, worm bait quickly it can flip your rod over now I can't do it on this Sonic because the first guide is so far up the blank um, so that's why I've put that in the more sturdier of the two rod rests. Don't expect anything that big this this time of year or here or today, but it would be nice. Let's just hope for a bite. Weed already coming in at Herne Bay with the end of February and the sea is already full of weed. Crazy.
Alright, I'm going to bring this one in. It's been now about 20 minutes. Nothing on it. I don't think. Mm. It's a little bit heavy, but I think it's the actual pressure of the wind. So, let's get this in. And what I'm going to try, I'm going to drop it in a different place. I'm going to drop it down short, next to the wall. Sort of 10 yards out. And then when I bring the three flapper in, I'm going to put that round to the right a bit more. And let's search this ground for a fish. Right, a bit of fresh worm on here. So, it's off there, I think. And go. Nice bit of worm on there. Put some at the bottom. It's got a bit tangled. Go. There's a bit of worm in there. I'm actually going to put a bit of squid on this just as a, 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 a sort of a visual attractor. It's a squid. Nice big bit of squid on this, I think. There we are. I'm not clipping that up. I'm basically going to just see what is down here. Basically, I'm going to just underarm, flick that just down there. There we are. See if there's anything there. Alright, let's check this three flapper, see if there's anything on there. I don't really want to call it. I don't want to call it. No, no there is, no, it's coming in. Always in the back of my mind, I'm hoping there might be a tiny little rockling or little white in just to save a blank, but uh, there was nothing on there. But the squid has gone on every single one. Unusual. I've been stripped of squid on every single worm bait. Let's get these old worm off. Right, rebaited this up. I'm going to go out to sea into the dirty water. So let's get this out, let's be clear of people, not going far, that will do. So there we go, let's hope there's some fish out there. Well there's definitely some little knocks happening on this rod. I don't know what it is though. I'm going to see if it develops a bit and if not, bring it in because there might be something tiny hooked on that. I think it may be like a little rocklings come out of the out of the rocks, taking a bait maybe. Fingers crossed. So I am trying to get a little bit ahead of the game today um, whilst there's not a lot happening keep my eye on the rod I'm just gonna load up the needle ready for when I uh, when I bring these in I'm gonna bring that sonic in in a minute to see if there's anything actually on it but um, it really isn't pleasant today with the wind 
Um, the chap, there's a chap fishing at the beginning of this Hampton jetty and uh, he hasn't had a bite either. And it seems to really have gone off the boil since the snow. It hasn't picked up since. But um, we're getting milder days now so the sea should slowly start warming and then hopefully the rays will start showing soon and then we'll be able to travel a little bit more soon and explore a little bit more of the coastline so I just got up from putting bait on the baiting needle and I've got a bite on the vega in close Nothing monstrous, but it was a bite. Yeah, there we go. We've got a bite on there. We've got a bite on there. So let's see what's going on here. Got a bite. Come on. Oh. Might have something on here. Have I got something on here? Yes. Feels like something. Feels like something decent on here. We have got a very good flounder. So I don't want to lose this. And he's on a very light hook trace on here. So I'm going to get my... Don't want to lose this fish. It's a good fish. Right. Up he comes. I've got a thumbs up. And that is a very nice flounder. Very nice flounder. Look at that. There we go. Beautiful. Happy with that. just rebaiting a bit of squid on that again I think this is helping as a visual aid really in the murky water and then what I'm gonna do get back on I'm gonna put it back down where I just had that see if there's a one or two more down there so we're just gonna flick him out just there I'm pleased with that that's a nice flounder well, it's nice for the moment when fishing's not that easy. Now we're tight on that, happy with that. Now what I'm gonna do, check this, because this was bouncing a bit a while ago. So let's see what, if there's anything on here. Uh, there's weed on there, pretty sure. And that's what I thought it was, weed. I wonder if there's a fish wrapped in it. Mm, just a lot of weed coming through. Which is a little bit of a pain. So I better clear this weed off, look at that. Weed galore. Let's clean this off, I hope this doesn't start coming through. I think it's probably just because I'm around the end of the, round of the jetty. Um, clean this off, I might then chuck this one down the wall as well. So, see if I can get some flounders. Let me have a think, let's clear this. 
and then see what I'm going to do. now for the next 20 minutes I mean never say never but tend to be more prolific before the high end than after so I've now got two baits in behind me there close to the wall both targeting flatfish flounders so I'd be really happy if I can uh, pick up one more let's see right so we're rebaited again what I'm gonna do underarm chuck it I'm gonna just go to the left a little bit here like that get that down back in the rest well there goes the chap that was fishing at the end of the pier he's had enough he's only had a couple of bites um, didn't get anything and the way it's going I don't think I'm gonna be sitting out much longer because there's not a lot happening at all. Just weed coming through now. I might give it another 20 minutes, see how it goes. And I've been keeping my eye on that chap as well on the beach. Um, I haven't seen anything much coming out there either. So, it's still quite quiet around the North Kent coast. Well, I think this could be it really. There's a lot of weed coming through now. So let's check this. So what I might do, because I am very cold and it's very quiet. The other chap's gone here. He didn't get a fish. Um, this chap on the beach I haven't seen get, get much. There's not a lot about at all. I'm gonna pack this one down and I might sit watch that for 10, 15 minutes. Local to me. I don't know 
I haven't tried it before. But I'm cold now, and I'm not getting any bites. So this one's going to come in. And until next time, tight lines. Stay tuned to the channel. And thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't, please subscribe. Hit the bell and get notified of all the notifications when I post videos. Right, that's it.